I am in a fighting game mood because yesterday I guessed it on the Retro League podcast talking about some Saturn fighting games. And uh, I believe, I don't know if that's live. I think the YouTube archive is live or will be soon. I will, I should probably link to that. Not your crew. They talk about older stuff, but we talk about, I, I know some older stuff. And uh, yeah, like I said, we talked about Saturn. I'm doing episodes basically this whole month on um, different older fighting shenanigans. Is there anything else over here before I continue? I don't think so. We did reset because reset is the best. I thought maybe... Okay, the cop is not happening yet. Got it. Okay. So. Remember, okay, this is basic, basic. Persona, persona. I don't remember if the shoulders do anything. We'll figure it out. We'll be alright. Or we'll just get our ass kicked and I'll turn on auto mode. Regardless, it's time. If nothing else, we'll finish this and then we can do the uh, P4 story next time. Just when we finally rescued Akihiko-san and we're about to catch a break in solving this case. Now we can't even get out of the room. We're all panicking. Damn it. What the hell's going on? I'm not sure. I guess I'm supposed to be Hanji? Okay. Oh, except Akihiko-san. Akihiko-san, anyway, who's just thinking calmly to himself. Does he have some kind of plan? How many doors are there in the music room at your school? Huh? Oh, right. There's the door we came through, and... Ah! There should be a door that leads to the prep room in the back. All right. Junpei, look for that door. It should be around here somewhere. We'll just leave a door somewhere. Uh, actually, uh, is this it? Junpei saw it, looks around and finds a little door that was hidden behind some stuff further in the room. Will you look at that? Man, I guess I should show up at school more often so I notice stuff like that. Anyway, Junpei goes up to the little door and opens it. Easy as that. Whoa. What is this? It's kind of creepy. Of course it's creepy. Oh, yeah, it is a little weird. That door turns out to be connected to an eerie room that's stained bloody red. Hey, this is the announcement room from the P1 Grand Prix. Those broken robots hung up there are part of Labrys' past. What a shitty thing to make us look at again. Labby-chan, are you doing okay right now? I'm really worried about you. That sound Labby Chan sounds like a euphemism Teddy would use for labia, Teddy. and that kind of freaks me out. That reminds me, Ted called himself Labrys' knight and stuff like that, so maybe he was the first one to make friends with Labrys during the P1 Grand Prix. Guess it's only natural that he'd be worried about how she's doing now. Still. I gotta check thing real quick. Oops. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Boop. Yep, yeah, okay. I get paranoid about the delays. Anyway. Stupid Kanji. What was that for? And grab his ass. What's going on? What good is it gonna do you to mope like that? Your lapis is buddy. She said herself that she was gonna do her best. If you don't believe in her. Who will? Tweaking the game audio up just a hair. Because the intro is really loud compared to the actual game, and I think I better turn it down too much. That's right, he's stuffed up. I forgot about that. Ted comes jumping at me with his face streaked with tears and a runny nose. That little. I just washed my damn uniform, and he's already getting it dirty. While we're fooling around, Akihiko-san comes towards us and smiles. You guys get along really well, huh? But we're running out of time. Let's get moving. Roger that. All right! I'm totally on fire! We're gonna go and kick this culprit's booty! Hooray for booty. <laughs> the blue Daruma doll's pretty pumped up. Oh, hey, there's a door over here, too. Yeah, I was gonna make a joke about you could have just used the term Baruma, but that's one character off well, not one extended syllable off from Bloomer, which is underpants, which anyway. <sighs> when Jubei son opens the door further inside the announcement room, this crazy gust of wind blows in the wombs the whoop the room, sweeping Junpei son's entire body out the door. Bye. Junpei! 
Goodbye forever. Why don't you go? Shut up, I know, damn it. When I can go sign me, rush over. We can't help but see what's on the other side of the door. Try to wait a minute for things to load. Bridges? We're supposed to be inside the school, but is that outside? A giant bridge fills the space, and... Well, doesn't matter. It's just that the route we've been taking so far is all messed up. I'll just assume the door got connected somewhere weird. I look around for Junpei-san and find him clinging onto the bridge's handrail for dear life. He's seriously one hell of a guy. It's like the most cliche thing that could happen. It's starting to make me wonder if he's doing this on purpose. It's the, place. It's the Moonlight Bridge. Okay. Huh? A huge bridge in the city? Why is it here in Inaba? Wait, is it that... Tigus? Oh, great. Whoa, there's this totally out of place cross on top of the pillar at the highest spot on the bridge. And I can kind of see someone crucified up there. When I squint my eyes to get a better look, I can see for sure. That's Aiga san. What an insane ice. What, in, what kind of insane eyesight does Akihiko san have to spot her from this distance? Wait, that's not important. I can tell you from here that Aiga san is, isn't in great shape. We gotta hurry and save her. I'll go. I might be able to reach her with my persona. Okay. Nope, nope. I'll be the one to rescue her. I'll set Aichon free and get a kiss of thanks. Oh. Teddy Trap, stop trying to have sex with all the robots. Just as Teddy slips past you, you go set by the dart outside. He gets knocked back like a rubber ball goes rolling on the announcement room floor. This is more of that invisible wall crap. When did this happen? You're going nowhere. If you think that things will be that easy, you're greatly mistaken. Who am I fighting? That's a guy's voice, quiet and kind of higher pitched. We turn around and see those red pillars in the four quarters of the announcement room. Yeah, I thought so. Who's fake are we fighting now? I look closer and it's some kid and a dog. We better not let her guard down. None of us noticed them coming, after all. Ken? And Koromaru, too. Long time no see, Samadison. They were from the helicopter crew, that's right. Huh? If this kid knows Akihiko son, he must be a shadow operative too. Or a fake of one, anyway. Whoa. Don't tell me the same goes for that scary looking dog, too. Okay, so that's what's going on here. Stay back, you guys. Akihiko san! Akihiko san stepped forward and they. Kid moving in close by a few feet to swing his spear having all, almost the same time. The kid's move might have been a little faster. He's using the spear's flexibility and balance to cover for him being so shrimpy. Like Ego Sun's not in peak condition right now, so maybe I shouldn't let him handle this one. Oh, he's not cute at all. Oh, but I guess that makes it easier to deal with him. That's that's kind of shallow. Hey, John, I think your snow black side's showing itself a little. Hey, little punk. What gives? Bringing the mutt into a one-on-one -on -one fight? Huh? Oh, this thing? Don't worry about it. I should Watch get a handicap, right? I mean, since I'm just a child. Yeah, you little. Not to repeat Yukiko Senpai or nothing, but this brat ain't cute at all. The way he talks kind of reminds me of Naoto, but like, this jerk's milking the I'm just a kid thing for all it's worth. Huh? Wait a sec. The fakes so far, or at least the ones I've seen, act pretty much the way we do. So does that mean the real kid's personality is more or less like this? Fakes? Bleh. That's not a great trait of thought. So I'd better stop for now. I gotta focus instead on beating the crap out of this kid. Okay, so I can't use... I wanted to use what's his spots, but... Akigo, but... Uh... I like Kanji. He has chairs. I like chairs. Alright. I'm debating laying the controller down or not, but... It'll be alright. I don't think I've seen him fight at all yet. The kid, I mean, Ken. 
This is a cool because Ah, oh, it's a trident. I like tridents. Ooh. Oh, wow. I'm getting spiked. Ah, oh, come on. I am way out of practice. He's got sick combos with the dog. I like I'm trapped in a loop here. Look at this. Alright, maybe this was a bad idea. I should pick somebody faster. Yeah, this is gonna be a fail. Okay, yeah, that was pretty poor. Rematch gonna be same character or not? I'll give it a little more go. And failing this, we'll probably go Yukiko next. That's more like it. Oh, I didn't seem to draw me in. Oh wait, I'm hitting the wrong buttons for low and high. There we go. Oh come on! Just hammer buttons. Oh god. He broke mine. There we go. Not using him much anymore because he's just way, way too plotting for me. Give me Chie back. Please. The red pillars in the four quarters of the announcement room break. Sweet, the invisible walls are gone now, so we can rescue Junpei-san and Aiga-san. So I thought. But it looks like that it wasn't enough to totally take out the kid and his dog. Instead of not in a way like the other ones, they just on the ground so far. I didn't think you were this strong. I didn't fight because you wanted to, you know. You forced me to do this. What? <laughs> the hell? This kid was a real damn brat until a second ago when he got all soft-hearted and started crying. Even his dog is drooping as he is and giving him this pitiful whine as he looks at us. Damn it, he's too cute. I can't resist animals when they give me those eyes. Hey, these guys really are fakes, right? There's no chance that they're real? Huh? No, that's not possible. Oh, but the fake ones disappear as soon as they're defeated. Huh? That is weird. It's also oh, weird that they threw the sweat drops on their the legs. Hey, you three, don't let your guard down. It's not, son. It's too late now. <laughs> Damn it! Oh, crap, we let our guard down. Exactly what he told us not to do. We turned to Rocky Yuko-san's voice. We left our backs completely exposed to that kid and his dog. That damn brat's too fast for us to do anything about it. But right when I'm thinking that's that, the white, this white streak leaps over us and slams the fake dog away with its, from its pounce at Yukiko Senpai. What the hell? That's the real one, isn't it? Yep. What? You're... Stabbing you, yes. At the same time, a spear comes flying from behind, missing us completely, but really nailing the fake kid. It was thrown so hard, the kid goes flying back and gets nailed to the wall behind him. As we watch it happen, gave it like dumbasses, two voices, one human and one animal, come from behind Honestly, us. Honestly, aren't you supposed to be the adults here? You let your guard down much too soon. The new arrivals look just like the fakes we were fighting. Actually, 
This kid looks even brattier than his double. And standing proud next to him is a pure white dog. Several of you I don't think I've met before. I'm the real Ken Amata, and this is Koromaru. Oh, you're the real Ken Kun. It's nice to meet you. Oh, and you too, Koromaru san. Watching you was pretty nerve wracking. Do you understand what you were doing? It's unbelievable not paying attention during a fight. This kid's a shit. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry too. This kid's even brattier than the fake. <laughs> You've stepped up your game, Ken. That was an impressive strike. It's good to see you again, Sonata san. As you can see, Koromaru's been well too. <laughs> I've heard about I was kind of hoping you could play just as the dog, but the fact that he's an assist is still good. I'm not a costume. I'm an all-natural, totally adorable raw bear. What the hell's a raw bear? They got bear. They got specific bars for that. Look, look. I'll let you touch it a little bit. Wanna feel my fur? Well, that took a turn. That's all right. I'm not interested. Still, it's amazing to see a dog use a persona. Come here, Chosokabe. Oh. Please don't call Koromaru by that weird name. He's not sure how to react. Sorry to cut this short, but we have to move, Ken. How's the situation? We met up with Naoto san on a rooftop somewhere. See, that's why you localize, because that joke doesn't make any sense to me. Ikari san and I avoided fighting there and left. We split up to search for Mitsuru san. I can't say that it's going well. So now Tokan and Labras are okay. My goodness. Labby chants here too? <laughs> when I see her, I want to give her a big fluffy bear hug. Boop. Fluffy, you say? 